Tech Chop is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. TechPodcast.com. If it's tech, it's here. Let's hide some secret files in plain sight. This episode of Tech Chop is brought to you by GoToMeeting with HD Faces. Welcome to episode 25 of Tech Chop. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, aka Twitter.com slash Pablo. Wow, 25 episodes. I can't believe we've made so many. If any of you remember the old Bauer Power TV podcast, episode 25 was the last episode we did right before turning the show into Tech Chop, which is now a separate entity from my blog, Bauer Power. I'm happy to announce that episode 25 will not be our last episode, and we will continue to bring you techy and geeky stuff every week. We are, however, dropping the weekly news brief part of the show. It's kind of a pain to edit together every week, and let's face it, I suck at reading the news. So, I'm not going to do it anymore. Today's going to be an interesting show, as we're going to look at hiding our files in plain sight. I mean, encrypting your files is still important, and you should continue to do this, but with the method I'm going to show you, you can hide your files in plain sight. I recommend using this technique as another security layer on top of whatever else you're doing to protect sensitive information, not in place of what you're doing. This technique can be classified as security by obscurity, which should never really be the primary method used to protect your stuff. What we're going to do today is hide secret files inside a picture, like a JPEG. You will be able to open the picture in any picture editing program and view it, but secretly it will also be carrying our top secret documents. If you Google around, you'll find that there are tools you can install on your computer that will do what I'm about to show you. However, if a bad guy or the man gets a hold of your computer and sees you have a tool that hides files within images, then all of your image files will become suspect, right? I'll be showing you how to do this without any special tools, right after this word from our sponsor. During the summer, it seems like everyone is out of the office. Working remotely, going on vacation, pretty much any excuse they can muster to stay the hell out of the office. Welcome to the loneliest room during the summer, the meeting room. This is yet another reason that we at Tech Shop recommend GoToMeeting with HD Faces. It allows you to meet face-to-face with your work-avoiding colleagues, no matter where they are. With GoToMeeting by Citrix, it just takes a webcam and a click to collaborate in group HD video. iPad users can even join in the meeting with the free GoToMeeting app. You can see your attendees eye to eye while collaborating on documents in real time. You'll feel instantly connected, even if they're in Los Angeles and you're off soaking up the rays in Tahiti. Not to mention how easy it is to use GoToMeeting. As a tech guy, I think I can safely say that a monkey can figure out this program. You're smarter than a monkey, right? I mean, you are watching my show. At my company, we use GoToMeeting all the time and we love it. You need to start using it too. Tech Shop viewers can try GoToMeeting free for 30 days if they use the promo code PODCAST. Don't wait for this special offer. Visit GoToMeeting.com, click on the Try It Free button, and use the promo code PODCAST. Be sure to use the promo code PODCAST so they know that Tech Shop sent you. Before the break, I talked about hiding files inside of an image. That way you can hide your important information in plain sight. I also said I would show you how to do this without any special software. Not only that, I'll show you how to do this on both Windows and Linux. Windows first. What you need to do is find an image that you want to use and drop it in a folder along with the files you want to store. Right click all the files you want to hide in your image and click on send to compressed zip folder. You can also use an archive utility like 7-zip if you want. I prefer that myself because you can add a password to the archive if you want and encrypt the contents. For the sake of simplicity though, the built-in archive tool will be fine. Next, open a command prompt and change it to the directory holding your image and secret files. Next, run copy slash b, your image name plus your archives name, and then output name.jpg. The b switch for the copy command tells Windows to copy those files in binary mode together and then open them up into one file. Since we gave the output file a jpeg extension, it comes out looking like the original image. One thing you can do to check if it's working without extracting it is to check the file size of the original image versus the file size of the new image with the hidden files. The new image is going to be a little bit bigger. To retrieve your files, you'll need a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip. Just open up 7-Zip and locate your image and double click on it. Click on the contents and select extract. Simple, right? 
same principle applies in Linux as well, except to copy files in binary mode, we use cat. The command to run there is cat, your archive's name, right caret, right caret, your image name, dot jpeg. That command is a little simpler, isn't it? Still though, same results. That's it for this week's episode. What other kinds of tricky things do you guys do to protect your files? Do you use this method? Give us some insight into your security practices and recommendations in the comments or on our Facebook page. Don't forget to like, fave, subscribe, and we'll see you next week right here on Tech Shop.